Hey, today I want to give you a really simple tip. I think it's going to help a lot of golfers out there. It's all the way from the over the top slicers all the way to the underneath inside out over hookers. So, and this includes a lot of you watching. So stay tuned. All right, so for a lot of you out there, if you could just get your swing started well, once you start to build that momentum, it starts to be harder to kind of jerk the club off of that arc that you're starting to establish. I know some of you will jump the tracks, either go over the top or kind of loop under, but a lot of you out there simply just don't get started right. So let's take a look at the most common error that the typical golfer will make when they take the club back. And that looks like this. They're gonna overturn the hips and turn the shoulders flat like this. And the club is gonna end up way, way on the inside. Let's look at that again. Now from here, typically most golfers don't come back in from here, but what they're more likely to do is do some kind of over the top loop to get it back in front of them again and then the plane gets too vertical and off to the right start to go a lot of drives the better golfer who does more like this may not loop it but come back too far from the inside have a lousy steep and inside out handle path to exit get a lot of pushes a lot of snap hooks so to get off to a better start with your swing give yourself a fighting chance you could concentrate a little bit on a, on a slightly different motion in the takeaway. So instead, we're gonna add a little bit more what you, what you would call right side bend. So here would be turning too flat. You notice my plane's wings here, just kind of turning along the equator like this. But we, if we could add a little bit less hip turn, a little bit more right side bend, and we're gonna get the shoulders turning up a little with a little more angle to them. You see how if I turn this way, my shoulders kind of run flat across. But if we can get them turning a little bit more this way, like this, you see I'm starting to get a little tilt in the shoulders and it makes the club, makes it really impossible to get the club going overly too much to the inside going back. Makes it really hard. So compared to the first version here. Now really my hands really and arms really aren't that far to the inside. It's really my hips and shoulders that are turning off kilter. So as soon as I fix that and I add a little bit of more vertical tilt to the shoulders, it would look like this. And now all of a sudden I've got the club going back really nicely straight, just like that. So compare that to that. And so the feeling is that my right shoulder is going up to the sky and my left shoulder is going down to the ground. All right, let's see if I can pull that off and you'll see if I can get the club going back on a nice straight take back. Looking that in slow-mo, you can see clearly that the, the club is just kind of making its way. It's still arcing, of course, but the arc is on the correct plane to get started. And then for most of you, it's just a matter of continuing to let that flow, let that momentum just kind of carry back and through and not try to interfere with the direction. And a lot of you will have your swings greatly improved. All right, I'm going to go back to work on this because it's something I need to do a little bit more. But hey, thanks for watching. I hope that you'll hit the subscribe button and check out my website, hititlonger.com, for great products, swing analysis, 
and great exclusive content. All right, I'm Steve, and if I don't see you in the next video, which I hope you'll watch, but if I don't, I hope I see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care.